everybody, it's Diana. Welcome to my channel. This is my son Grayson. For those of you that don't know, he has his own YouTube channel called Little Dirt Bike Guy. If you haven't seen it, check it out. So today I am going to show you guys how to make a Christmas ornament. Um, tell them why we're doing this, Grayson. It's a week before Christmas. That's why we're, we're wearing these. <laughs> I'm gonna let Grayson do whatever he wants. And uh, this is just something fun that you can do with your kids if they're a little bit older. You don't want to do it when they're too young because you are using pins. But it's just something fun you can do as a family. And um, so we just wanted to share it with you. I have all kinds of sequins and beads and pins. And we're going to use these to make our ornaments. I have a little bag of styrofoam balls. These used to come in kits a long time ago. I've been having a hard time finding the kits and I got frustrated so I just bought all the ingredients and I'm, we're making them ourselves, on it. Maybe someday if uh, Happy Hobby Homesteader ever gets big I'll have these sorts of things available for you to purchase as kits and you could make your own that way. Um, in the meantime I'm gonna have all kinds of affiliate links that you can click on in uh, the blog if you uh, want to go to that description. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look for a center line on your styrofoam ball. Follow along that whole center line with a bead and a sequin. I think when I was little, my job was to string them. What I like to do is I like to overlap them just a little bit so that there's no uh, white from the styrofoam ball showing through. Are you just gonna let me work these up for you, or are you uh, gonna? No, I'm, I'm gonna do a pattern. It's gonna be silver, silver, um, red. Silver, silver, red. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Grayson? You don't like my singing? I do. I okay. do, but she does it all the time. Uh-huh. You sing me every night. I sing every day. You can't take the song out of my heart. I like to do a little pattern just because Okay, I'm just gonna do it looks party. I like mine to look party. I'm gonna do just a crazy pretty one. Just crazy, just just beautifulness. Ah! Stop getting loosed. Loosed? What do you think? Coming together? Huh? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. nice, right? That's nice. Just let them go. Let them have a good time. Who cares? Because I tell you what, when you put them on the tree and it gets with those little lights and everything starts to sparkle off those sequins, ah, it's gonna look beautiful. And you'll put it on your tree every year and you'll remember that time that you sat down with your little child and you made that Christmas ball uh -huh. together. And it was joyous. So I'm not gonna say that this is like, exciting to do. You're not going to be like, oh my god, and then there were so many complicated steps because it's not. What are you doing? Putting two beads in then this sequence. What? It's going off road. That's my boy. You know, I mean, brew some cocoa. Try out your cookie recipe for the cookies you're going to make for Santa. Put on some Christmas carols and just family out. Just family out, you know? Like, do it up. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. And look, I used one of one of these beads. <laughs> of course you did. I mean, just let them go for it for as long as their attention span will allow. Ooh. If he makes it all the way around this ball once, I will be stunned. But... He was watching me make the first half of this this morning. He was like, oh, I want to make a Christmas ball. Yeah. And so I thought, what the hey? <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's do it, little dirt bike guy. Dirt bike guy, little dirt bike guy. That's my song. Dirt bike guy, little dirt bike guy. I'm going to be I'm gonna be telling my kids about these. You think so? I hope so, buddy. No, like, I'm going to be telling my YouTube channel kids. Oh, those kids. I thought he was talking about years from now, he would be remembering the fond memories of times with his mommy. No, I'm also going to be telling kids that I have 
kids that are gonna be the ultimate kids of kid kids. You're gonna make some ultimate kids, are ya? Yep. Well, that's what I did. Uh -huh. Ultimate kids. You know, I mean, we should tell them a story. What story could we tell them, Grayson? Once upon a time, there was a reindeer, and his name was Buckle Butt. <laughs> <laughs> and Buckle Butt just really wanted to play. And Buckle Butt, he just wanted to do anything he wanted. But one day, a mischievous um, bad guy came and took him. <gasps> took Buckle Butt? Yes. Where did he take him? He took him to his lair, and Buckle Butt was very scared. Oh my. He was like, he's like Is that then, how reindeers? <coughs> and then he was like, Dad! Wait, the bad guy was his dad? Yes. He forgot that he lived in a lair. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle Butt's mom was like, oh, why, do you keep, again. why do you keep um, stealing him from his friends? He, he wants his friends. Oh, mean old bad guy dad. Not bad guy. I thought you said he was a bad guy. Well, he, well Buckle Butt thought he was a bad guy. And then Buckle Butt was like, Hey dad, can can you go bring me back to my friends? Cause I want my friends. Mm, geez. And then his and then his mom was like, yes. Yeah. Buckle Butt's dad is called um Buckles. Bucks. Buckles. Buckles, yeah. Buckles. Wait. Buckles? Yes. The dad is Buckles. Mm. Does that mean that the mom's name is Butts? No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's going to be actually... Matilda. No. It's Dasher. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Buckles. Kidnapped Buckle Butt. He keeps kidnapping Buckle Butt because he, he, he keeps wanting to ruin his son's day. Buckles kind of sounds like a jerk reindeer. No yeah, Buckles, Buckles is a bad dad. He's a bad dad. Yes. What would you know about bad dads? You've got an awesome dad. Yeah. He he lets me ride dirt bikes, and I go very fast. I go like full speed. Full speed ahead, guys. And meanwhile, Dasher, the mom, is mad at Buckles for stealing Buckle Butt. Yeah, cause cause Dasher is like. Honey, Honey, stop doing that. Stop stealing Buckle Butt. <laughs> he wants to play with his friends. Yes. And what does Buckles say about that? Buckles like, babe, he needs to stop playing. I love how in Grayson's story, the reindeer refer to each other as babe. Babe, he needs to stop playing. <laughs> ah, babe. He needs to stop playing and get serious. What, why does he need to get serious for? What's he What's he gonna do? He's a grown reindeer. He's gonna be one of the reindeer that pulls on a sleigh. Ooh, ooh, that's a that's a big, tough, important job. Yeah. So Buckles is trying to get him to stop playing his reindeer games. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna he, buckle buckle butt is sort of is sort of like Rudolph. Because none of the reindeer would let him in re any reindeer games, remember? Yeah, that's true. Mm. You know, I, I, I saw a stand-up on, I don't know whether any of you guys ever watched dry bar comedy, but it's like clean comedy. And the comedian was dressed up as Santa Claus. And he was like, just so you know, Rain Rudolph wasn't excluded from all of the reindeer games. Just, you know, some. Like, for instance, red light, green light. <laughs> He couldn't do that one. And then uh, hide oh, and I... seek. He really sucked at hide and seek. <laughs> why? Oh, I know why. I know why he sucked at hide and seek because of his nose. Right. Yeah, his nose just 
His nose would just glow every single time. I mean, who could hide with that nose? Yes. Jeez. Like it can glow it through anything. Hi, how, you, how are you coming on your uh, ornament there, little dirtbag guy? Look. Well, it's very fancy. And then Dasher was like... Oh, we're back to our story. Okay, yes. Yeah, Dasher was like, honey, just stop it. Just let him play his reindeer games, okay? He can do that this weekend. So when does he take over the um, pulling of the sleigh? Um, when he's 25. How long do reindeer live? I think I think some some reindeer only get to live for like six years. <sighs> Buckle butt. Buckle butt the reindeer. Where do they come up with this stuff? Oh, you were a kid once. I was. I was fabulous at being a kid. Then I got old. Hey, that sort of looks like a candy cane. You think? Hey guys, what do you call a cow with a guitar? I know. A musician! <laughs> you guys want to hear one of my classic jokes? Hold on to your hat. Um, this is, this is what it is. What do you call a flying sandwich? A flandwich! Yep, hold on to your hat, cause you're going on a choo-choo ride. Around the world. Okay, so. I have my ball completely decorated. I haven't even done yet. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? So I have a tiny hole right here in the very center of this one on this end. On this end, I have a sequin. Okay, so now what I need to do is get some string. Now I'm gonna take a big bead. I'm gonna thread it on there. How about a sequin? Sequin. Put that on there. And then I'm gonna take just a little itty bitty dollop of glue. Mind oh. you not burn my fingers. Yes. She please. says with hope. <laughs> Wait, does that actually hurt? Well, it is hot glue. I think this one looks pretty. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? So if you want to get extra special careful while you're doing these, you can do a little dollop of hot glue um, on the end of each sequin and that will hold them all in place for many, many years to come. Or you can buy some spray adhesive and you can spray the whole ornament if you would like to do it that way. Or you can just fly by the seat of your pants and hope that you don't get pins in your feet. Anyway, turned out pretty, didn't it? A Christmas ornament with pins and beads and sequins and just a little smattering of Christmas joy. Hey, Mama, look. Wow, that one's festive. And then look at this one. Mm -hmm. That was when we were doing the buckle butt one. <laughs> so I will post um, a picture of this along with the video on the blog and once Grayson gets his finished, I'll put a picture of that up as well so that you can see his finished product. So from my family or part of my family to yours, have a very Merry Christmas and a very happy holiday season. Thanks for watching. Merry